bottom for XRP is finally in as the bulls are looking to take hold of the market any moment now. In other news, experts assume that the ongoing lawsuit between the U.S. financial regulators and the founders of the XRP coin, Ripple Labs, seems exciting as it carries with it an iota of hope for enthusiasts of the Ripple coin as we draw even closer to a possible settlement between the two. Thanks for watching Make Money Online. If you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on post notifications. We also have a crypto discord group where we give out calls for our favorite altcoins, and you can also win special rewards for inviting your friends to the group. Links for that are in the description. Just as stated by one of my personal favorites, attorney Jeremy Hogan, and one of the Ripple community's lead advocates and legal counsel, the SEC case is drawing to a close. There is a low likelihood of the case being extended, and specialists have anticipated April as the end. As a result, analysts and experts have continued to put forth a bullish price rally for XRP as they set a target of $27 in the long run. On Friday, January 14th, 2022, Jeremy Hogan edified us on when he figures this litigation will stop. He was replying to a post from Crypto Law's founder, John Deaton, another attorney whose voice has continued to echo extensively towards Greater Horizons since the start of the lawsuit. Jeremy Hogan takes to Twitter to affirm that there's just one significant action item from this order on the Ripple vs. SEC case. As Judge Torres seems to be preparing to take over, the next couple months will be fascinating with every one of the significant decisions being tied up. The original tweet from Crypto Law clarified the new decisions and what this could suggest for Ripple. Orders by Judge Torres granting in part and denying in part motions by defendants Ripple at CEO Brett Garlinghouse and Executive Chair Chris Larson towards sealing exhibits to previous motions and more. Likewise, Defense Counsel James K. Filan had informed the XRP community of the most recent decision. Judge Torres requested three records disclosed connected with the messages and legal notices of Chris Larson and Brad Garlinghouse. As it reads here on his Twitter post, in today's ruling, Judge Torres ordered three documents unsealed now. For the most part, the new decision also permitted and denied developments by Ripple respondents to seal a couple of past movements. Torres will reveal an email to Larson and legal notices to Ripple, tracking down contentions to close unjustified, however allowed, redactions to Garlinghouse to safeguard potentially sensitive information in three reports. She also requested the public arrival of documents by two sides under seal, expecting movements to seal from opposite sides that won't ever come. Finally, Torres will permit Ripple a sir answer to the SEC's memorandum of law on the side of motion to strike appropriate notification defense. With these seasoned lawyers giving their endorsements to Ripple, and with Jeremy Hogan predicting an end date for this lawsuit to come latest April 2022, Good tidings abound as proponents of the Ripple asset continue to enjoy the belief that the case could end in favor of the Decacorn startup, at which point their favorite cryptocurrency tied to the fintech startup would hit more extraordinary highs. Since registering several significant milestones right after yet another major win in its fight with the U.S. financial regulators following Judge Netburn's directive that given the SEC's inability to prove to the court that the email correspondence from one of the commission's high-ranking officials concerning a milestone June 2018 discourse about Ethereum is privileged documents as earlier asserted, consequently the SEC should disclose the documentation of said email. Where previous head of corporation finance, William Hinman, who told the crowd at a Yahoo Finance crypto conference that Ethereum was not a security since it was decentralized. Instead, however, the SEC has been on Ripple's toes to sell its XRP token. As a result, the commission has professed it to be securities, subsequently unlawful since they are unregistered. That said, crypto and XRP analysts from all over the world are anticipating a bullish momentum with the price of XRP much sooner than we think. These analysts are looking at continuing the altcoin's upturn and setting exorbitant targets for the coin in light of well-calculated technical analysis. Whereas on the business front, Ripple, as of late, reported its partnership with the leading UK-based payment processing firm Modular, as they intend to dominate the entire UK and European market by establishing seamless payment solutions for enterprises and retail users throughout the region. Following its most recent announcement that it has joined the Digital Euro Association as a supporting partner, Ripple has become one of the leading providers of enterprise blockchain and crypto solutions for cross-border payments. The San Francisco-based blockchain company likewise expressed it had arrived at a valuation of $15 billion after repurchasing shares from financial backers who partook in its Series C crowdfunding round. Finally, Brad Garlinghouse spoke out that Ripple was ever in its most grounded financial position, regardless of its altercation with the SEC. Thus, Judge Sarah Nedburn's mandate to have the SEC release these otherwise privileged documents will provide Ripple with a new arsenal to employ on both fronts as its legal opposition and in the court of public opinion, where speculators who have come to deem this lawsuit as the cryptocurrency trial of the century see how the SEC's actions have been biased from the get-go. Therefore, it's only a matter of time until this lawsuit comes to a halt. 
However, Judge Sarah Nedburn's ruling thus far is only a procedural one and doesn't have a bearing on the more significant issue in the case, which revolves around whether or not XRP is a security. Famous crypto analyst and periodic XRP fan Ben Armstrong, aka BitBoy Crypto, is analyzing the trend of events in the settlement over the last couple of days and what he thinks to be the most bullish aspect. He draws our attention to an earlier statement from the CEO of Ripple Labs. They had earlier affirmed that the lawsuit will come to a halt by January. Yet a handful of these other expert analysts have come to make known a declaration that they don't see this lawsuit coming to an end within the next six months. And that is what the BitBoy Crypto subscribes to, just as he confirms that the most bullish part of it all would be set when no one is looking. XRP would then hit those significant highs, like it always does when everyone is distracted. Brad Garlinghouse is hopeful that the case between his side and the Securities and Exchange Commission would end in favor of his side, since he'd earlier stated that he believes this would be over in January. The Ripple CEO spoke in a CNBC interview while updating users on the global payments firm progress in 2021 with regards to the lawsuit, saying we're seeing pretty good progress despite a slow-moving judicial process. On the technical side, the best strategy for XRP bulls right now is to stay out until the market correction is over. The bears, on the other hand, can short from overhead resistance. The upside, capped by 75 cents, has its only valid trades on the sellout zone until the end of February. Shorting near-range highs makes sense, since 75 cents is significant resistance, so it's best to short it. At the same time, the take profit for the bears is pegged at 35 cents, so if you're a bull, short high and get paid for the recommended strategy. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to turn on bell notifications. If you have any questions, as always, drop us a comment, and we'll see you next time. Hollywood Carson